Hello everybody, it's Kathy here and welcome to this live stream today. Um, so today I want to take you through an energy process that's going to help you kind of tune into the vibration of, of what your what feels aligned for you for 2018. Um, and it's like it's about kind of distilling down all of the things that you would love to experience next year just into a specific kind of frequency and um because when you can do that it's like it's it's simplifying the message that you send out into the universe and that's what kind of helps um bring that into your reality so much more easily i'm just going to be talking a little bit at the beginning kind of just a, a bit of background as to why i'm doing this and um hi gwen why i'm doing it and what's worked for me why it's been so powerful because this is such a powerful process but because it's powerful it isn't just all sort of um you know it's not all easy and light and fun and you know it's not it brings the opposite up within us as we're going for what we want so it's about sort of preempting some of those situations so that you're aware that who you are as a powerful creator uh, is going to bring some of the some of the stuff up in you as you um do this kind of energy work um but the reason that i wanted to to do this is we there's a lot of people have been talking about being tired recently where a lot of stuff's come up for them where they've been feeling really uncomfortable a lot of change happening and um like a lot of stuff that isn't going how they want it to go and i think this is a really interesting um thing that happens specifically at this time of year because when you think about it we're all focusing on the end of the year. We've got this sense of, I've got to finish things off. I don't want to carry X, Y, Z through into the new year, or we're letting things go and focusing on what we want for next year. Um, and when, you, when you've got that sort of collective focus, it adds a very powerful field, um, or it adds to the field. It's like the collective consciousness. and everything that we kind of want different, everything that when we're focusing on um, letting things go, and focusing on what we want for next year, it means that anything that's not in alignment with that will come up to be released. Um, because we often we're not doing this consciously, that, um, you know, like buying into the group collective, it stirs things up in us. It makes us feel uncomfortable. Things happen or seem to come out of left field and we're like, well, where's that come from? From. and like we push it away or we push it down or we don't want to feel it and that just perpetuates it pe perpetuates it it's like you're um you're sending a message out to the universe and then you're saying no i don't want it um and what it's actually doing is stirring up all of the um the parts of you that are not in alignment with that version of you that you've specified and so the universe will do all it can because it's part of you. It's like an extension of you and you're sending these thoughts out into the field and it's rippling out uh, and it's it will either bring situations and people into your event that trigger these patterns and programs within you or it will rise up within you and then you will um, sort of respond to th these energies that you're being. And often the time, the times that we don't, um, you know, when these come up, we don't want to feel them. They just feel really uncomfortable. So we might, um, I don't know, tend to just like distract ourselves from feeling them or um, just moan about them or just like really focus on them going, I don't want this, I don't want this. And of course that makes it, um, it solidifies it and sort of makes it stick around even longer. What we resist persists, as they say. So I kind of wanted to talk about this and partly because this came out of a really strong intention that I made as a result of which I've mentioned in the last live stream. I think it was, you know, a friend of mine died or her friend, um, my, one of my best friend's mums, and we were all on holiday together not very long ago. So it was kind of it was a sudden um, she died really suddenly and it's sort of thrown 
up so many questions for me about um, it, it, um, uh, I mean, living how I really want to live is that is this it? Is that and the answer is kind of no. If life is short, I'm not living to the absolute uh, max that I could be. And it it showed me suddenly where all these gaps were in my life, where I'd actually just been content. I'd been happy with being content, and this sort of pulled the you know it pulled the um, the cover back and showed me oh, I'm not really content there and I'm not content there and I'm not content there. And it, the biggest thing it's shown me is that um, for me in my life, I've done so much on my own because I've been a, a traveler. I've um, Traveling doesn't, it, it, I've been a solo traveler. So it's not like I dip in and out of countries and people's lives and groups of people. And I've got lots of friends everywhere. And um, But it's very easy for me to not be attached and the so that's kind of like there are positives to that but on the downside it's also made me not very um not very good at asking for support not ask not going out and getting help there's a a sort of a, an unspoken mantra in my that goes around my head of if you want something doing properly you got to do it yourself or uh if I want it doing fast I need to do it myself and it's quicker doing it alone and all of these stories that I have running and this is so what I don't want anymore um, I want to be doing things with others I want to be in collaborations and I want to feel supported and I used to think that kind of wanting or needing support was uh, a sense of weakness somehow and again it's just a bullshit story and so having this really strong clear intention uh and and of being supported and having a life where there's a lot more people flowing through my life i got really excited about it and i sort of practiced this every day in in my um visualization and as i've been sending this out into the universe so much support has been coming back it's been quite amazing um even I even got dug out of the snow by all these neighbours that came uh, to help me on Sunday night because I got stuck in the snow across the road. And um, so money's come from unexpected places. It, it's just like the universe has really stepped up and, and brought evidence of I am supported because that is the message that I've been like sending out there. This is what I want to experience. Hi, Leone. Um, so you know the, and the thing is i chose one word that was all i needed to do and i've been doing this every year for the last um 3 years so when i uh, when i first started doing this the the word i chose was freedom because i realized that i had been keeping myself quite limited in the the way i'd been living and working because um again it was just like head stuff limiting beliefs about or well, if if you're going to have a business then you need to act xyz kind of way and again it was it was just um things that i was telling myself it wasn't the truth we as creative powerful beings we can create things however we choose it's totally up to us but we buy into the story that we that we kind of tell ourselves um the second year i did it was all about abundance and again a year that really unfolded into it's been such a flowing abundant year for me and um, right at the end of it when this um, this friend of mine died that was when it, I mean it was very recent it was like, so this is this idea of uh, tuning into I want to be supported these shifts that have happened have happened only in the last three or four weeks and they it's they're coming in such a big way so but it's had that added power of that um that scare really of life is short we we do have a, only a small amount of time that we're on this earth and this a beautiful earth to explore and you know there's amazing people to connect with and experiences to have so are you really living how you want to live and you know we're coming to the end of the year it's a great time to do a review of this year to see what worked what didn't what you want to change and then to focus on well, how do you want to be living in 2018 
what what would be the energy of uh, that year for you to focus on? And so I want to um, go through, take you through uh, like a, a visualization, a sort of guided process that will help you connect into your infinite self help you come from that soul led part of you through your heart that will take you into what feels most resonant for you now there is a really important thing to sort of um, mention i sort of touched on it before but when you're doing this work when you're sending those clear intentions out because that future version of you is this is a higher vibration than who you are vibrating at now than the frequency that you're at now you're, you know this might be you now this might be you in that future version of you in order for you to get to this version you need to let something go and this is all the programs and the um the less and denser energies and vibrations that we have within us within the stories that we're carrying and so this is where the universe will go to work for you it will, and this is why I was saying that you know it will bring you the things that trigger you in order to bring the stuff up to the surface so as you do this work just be really aware that this will happen you can't avoid it there's no magic bullet it's not always plain sailing but when you're sort of uh, aware of it that it will happen you can sort of be ready for the fact that okay I'm gonna feel a bit crappy at times it's gonna bring stuff up for, that feels like I'm a teenager again or things that you where is this feeling come from you know something that might not uh, have anything to do with um, some of the triggers that are happening but um, just feels very old and deep and painful but it sort of it just has come out of nowhere but it's on its way out so as long as you can just be with it and not push it away it will lift out and it will leave because it's on it it's going it's it's part of the process and you know it's when it when you're noticing it happening it's a really good sign that your vibration is rising even though it feels quite crap at the time so if you'd like to get comfortable and just start to close your eyes be somewhere where you're not going to be disturbed and just close your eyes and just start taking some nice, slow, deep breaths into your belly. And just follow your breath. Notice how your belly and your chest rise and fall. Notice the air going in and out of your nostrils. And feel your connection with the ground, with the earth. Feel your feet connected to the ground. Feel the weight in your bones. So really sink into your bones. Feel yourself getting heavier, sinking down into your chair. Really sensing yourself in your body. And just allow yourself to let go of the day imagine imagine that you have like a little elevator in your head like an elevator doors and you can step into the elevator press the button and feel that elevator go down out of your head down into your heart and allow your consciousness just to drop down into your body leaving all the busyness of your mind up above you don't need to pay attention to it And just keep following your breath. And just do a quick scan through your body, just checking in from head to toe, noticing where you might be carrying any sense of tension, any sense of gripping, any sense of vibration, any sense of heaviness, any sense of heat or cold any kind of discomfort just scanning through just noticing what you notice without judgment just seeing what it feels like to be you right now just noticing where you're holding on to something 
And if you notice that you're gripping or there's a tightness in your body, just consciously allow that part of your body to relax and breathe into it. Lovely. And now put your focus into your feet and imagine that you've got roots that reach down from the soles of your feet right down into the core of the planet. So like your body, which contains or like is the vehicle for your spirit, the planet is the body for Gaia, for Mother Earth, for this divine consciousness that provides everything that we need in this physical reality. So this energy of Gaia is like, it's feminine, nurturing, nourishing energy, and it's really supportive. It's all about abundance. And so allow yourself to connect with this energy right at the core. Imagine it like a, a warmth there, like unconditional love, like a mother's love. And imagine that you can draw that energy up through those roots, up through your feet and ankles, up through into your lower legs, past your knees, up through your thighs, up into your hips and belly. And just allow it to like spread through like warm honey, up through into your solar plexus and up into your heart. And just feel that warm lovely energy just collecting in your heart so you feel that heart to heart connection with mother earth and just allow yourself to let go into this like this is the energy of like if you imagine a mother holding a baby and the baby just completely lets go into its embrace just allow yourself to let go and be held knowing that there's nothing that you need to do. You don't have to make anything happen. You can just let go of everything and just be who you're being right now in this moment. And that that is completely enough. And just let yourself be held as you are. Just relaxing. Great, and now connect to the light of consciousness above you. So imagine that there's a brilliant shining light way above you. And imagine that you can draw down a beam of light down to the top of your head. And imagine the crown of your head opening up to receive the light. Draw that light down through your crown, down through your forehead, flooding your head with light, flooding in between your eyebrows with light. Imagining that it can clear anything in the way of you being able to see and know and perceive the truth. Flow it down into your throat. Clearing anything in the way of you being able to speak your truth, communicate what's true for you, create what you wish to create in this world. And then flowing the energy down through into your heart. Flooding your heart with light and the energy of unconditional love, compassion, acceptance. Just feel it filling up your whole chest cavity, flooded with light, flowing it down now into your solar plexus, into your power center, your, your sense of identity. I flow it through every part of your belly. Just breathing again into your solar plexus. Just charging this area up, allowing it to relax even further. And then flowing it down into your, sort of around your sacral chakra, around it through your sexual organs, through your hips, through your center of your creativity just clearing anything in the way of you being able to create with ease. Anything blocking your creative energies, just being cleared out with this light, 
eased out and then flow it down into the base of your spine where you're rooted into your physical being. It's clearing anything in the way that might be blocking your sense of security and safety and your your right to be here in this physical space in the in your physical body on the earth and then send that light down through your legs down past your knees down through your lower legs down into your ankles through your feet and then send it down into the right down through the earth into the core of the planet again so that you're really connected in above and below and get that sense of that being held and connected like you're a conduit for this energy and now put your focus into your heart and imagine that in your heart that there is a light and the light is glowing and as you breathe into your heart imagine your breath is like bellows and it starts to make that light grow brighter and brighter more and more intense and feel that light start to spread out through all the cells of your body out to the top of your head down through to the tips of your fingers and tips of your toes through every cell every nerve every muscle every part of you saturated with light from within and then take a deep breath in into your heart and send it out into your energy field out through all the pores of your skin and keep breathing and sending this light out all around you, filling up your bubble of light, your, your energy field. So you're, like, you're sitting in this beautiful, vibrant bubble of energy. And just keep breathing in and it's becoming brighter and brighter. And notice now that this light is shining out in every direction out into the universe. And as you shine your light out, just notice how there are no edges to you. There is nothing separating you from the rest of the universe. And just get a sense of how you can send your awareness out in any direction. And it can just reach on out into infinity. There is no end to this infinite version of you. There is nowhere that you are not you are part of this one field of consciousness. And just feel the sense of peace, of connecting at this level. Because at this level, you are connecting into pure, unconditional love. There is no sense of separation, there's no scarcity, there's no lack in this place. It is the energy of complete potential of abundance. And this is the place where it's beyond space and time. So past, present and future are all sort of all rolled into one. So it's the energy of that's like it's an all knowing place. You can access the past, you can access the present, you can access the future. So you can know it's complete awareness. So just feel that sense of expansion, that sense of possibility. And of course, this is the place of pure creative power, the power that creates worlds, the, the power that creates galaxies. All of this is available to you. It's who you are. It's, it's, and when you're at the center of it, you are constantly influencing this field. You are sending out your thoughts, your ideas, your emotions, and that vibration that you're being, it ripples out, it echoes out in every direction. And the universe brings back experience that is a match for the vibration that you're being. There is never a time when you are not doing this. You are always creating. You are a very powerful creator. What's important now is for you to choose what would bring you the most joy, the most sense of abundance, the most fulfillment. What would make you happiest in your life? And so I just want you to imagine 
rolling forwards in time into 2018, where you've let go of the energies of 2017 and you can create anything that you desire. And so just feel yourself some way ahead in 2018 where your life is feeling really in flow the satisfaction and connection and anything else that you truly truly desire is really flowing through your life just get a sense of what that feels like feel what it feels like when you're in that place that your heart knows is right for you. And see, while you're in this place, just notice the vibrations. Notice how you're being. Is it a sense of being happy? Is it a sense of being abundant? Is it a sense of being peaceful? Is it a sense of being creative? Do you feel free? Do you feel connected or guided? Just see what would be the most fitting and powerful word for you or empowering word for you. I feel it in your body as you try different words on. And when you find a word that really zings for you, where you can feel it through all parts of your body and being, you feel it in your heart and it really charges you up. Just sit with that energy and imagine that this energy starts to fill your whole energy field. So I'll just give you a few moments to really tune into what would be the most powerful frequency for you for 2018. And it's quite important to just really distill it down to one main one. So just Choose that one that you want right now and feeling it flood through every part of you, through every cell of your body, every part of your heart, all parts of your energy field. And then get a sense of how you can now draw that into your heart on your in-breath. So we've taken a really strong inhalation into your heart. And then send that vibration out into the universe, out in every direction. With a strong, clear intention that, to the universe saying, this is what I choose to receive in 2018. Please clear all channels so that I can receive this easily. And imagine that as you're sending that out, that the cogs of the universe are turning and they're starting to respond to this vibration that you're being. Get a sense of how it's reaching every person, every place, every dimension, every level, and every higher consciousness that's going to be instrumental in bringing this back into your reality.
and now send her a really strong sense of gratitude that this is a really done deal that this is a certainty so sending that out in every direction and now we're just going to repeat this process one more time so i want you to imagine this sense of this one frequency in your energy field feel it through your your body through every cell of your body through your whole body and being whatever this energy is whether it's a sense of freedom or joy of connection of love of peace of clarity whatever that this is for you And I want you to imagine that you can extend out your awareness into the infinite field of consciousness and imagine that you can draw energy into your energy field. So you're pulling energy from every part of the universe into your energy field and you're charging up this vibration that you're being. And as you pull it in, just notice how your vibration becomes stronger and stronger. And you should get a sense of your energy rising. So just keep pulling it in, charging it up, getting a sense of how potent this is. And then drawing all of this energy, this whole vibration that you're being into your heart on your inhalation and then on your exhalation, sending that out back out into the universe, feeling it rippling out in every direction, feeling how the cogs of the universe are already turning in response to who you're being. Getting a sense of how it's connecting to every person, every place, every situation, every dimension, every time. Every higher consciousness that's going to be instrumental in helping you bring more of this into your life. Sending that strong, clear intention out that I am ready to receive this now. Please clear all channels so that I can receive this easily. And then send just a wave of gratitude out all around. Gratitude that this is a done deal. There's a certainty that this is going to come to you knowing how powerful you are as a creative being. And then just gently feel yourself back in your body, allowing your, the, the universe to take care of this now, allow it to do what it needs to do. There's nothing that you need to do more right now. And just feel yourself ground back into your body. Feel yourself back here in the room, back here in your chair. Feel that support beneath you. Feel the connection with the earth. Take some nice, slow, deep breaths. And just feel yourself gently come on back. And open your eyes when you're ready. The important thing about doing this kind of work is you need to do it regularly. In order for you to influence that field of consciousness, you have to be sort of like, you are trying to overwrite um, patterns and pathways, neural pathways. So you have to do it consistently. It's not enough just to do it once or twice or you know, once or twice a week. Try and do this as regularly as you can. Even if you only do it for five minutes, just to tune into that word, You'll find that as you, if you do it, the whole process, um, like for two or three days at least, and you start really getting that energy charge, it's like you anchor the word to who you're being, and then you can just like tune into it in at different times in the day, and you get that recharge. You reconnect with that energy of success or the energy of freedom, and just take a moment to pause and really feel it, and. 
that will really add to um it will speed things up it will um it's like you're sending even more ripples out into the universe and it will start to slowly raise your vibration but of course do remember that as you're sending this out the opposite has to come up within you so if things get uncomfortable or if things if you start to experience things like um i don't know like feelings that you've had uh, like way way back in your childhood or in your school days or difficulties that you've run, you run into you, you can't understand why is this happening these are all signs of the old stuff lifting out so just see if you can be with it be present don't resist it and it will move its way through your system and eventually it will be released um, do all kinds of things that you can to support yourself through this process you know do do some um, healing work with people um, you know I've been um, I've got myself booked in for some past life regression work as well as some um, I do some channeling work I've got all kinds of different um, uh, healing sessions booked up to support me I've got support groups and uh, girlfriends that support me and we support each other so you know these are these are really important things to do because this is you're gonna you're powerful you're gonna be bringing stuff up as you do this work so support yourself through it um, so if you want to do any more of this kind of abundance clearing work I've actually got a workshop coming up on the 20th of January and there's another one on the 27th of January called activate abundance so if you're in the either in the London sort of Hertfordshire area or you're in the Worthing sort of Brighton area in the on the south coast um, activate abundance is just a small group workshop where I'll be working with a maximum of 12 people to really go deep into some of this uh, ab abundance block clearing work and to help um, help you really solidify that sense of who you are as a powerful powerful creative being um, we'll be looking at so connecting into your infinite self to um, get much more clarity about what your soul wants for you in these um, in 2018 what might be in the way of that so that we can start clearing the things in the way and also to totally open up your um, capacity to receive because t typically we're not that brilliant at receiving often we don't we just don't know we're so good at giving particularly you know people who are following a, a spiritual path we're excellent givers not so good at receiving so we'll be sort of exploring all of those sort of things i'll be teaching you lots of different energy processes that which are great tools for life um and you will start to uh really have some shifts on the day and you'll leave with a sort of step-by-step -step process um or like a a step-by-step -step pathway so that um you know what you're doing in 2018 and you have much clearer sense of abundance clearer sense of what's right for you what would make you feel happy and joyful so if you would like to come along to that then i will leave details again in the description and it would be lovely to have you so the first one's on the 20th of january that's in hertfordshire the second one is on uh, the 27th so the one in hertfordshire is 97 pounds for the day and the one in um worthing is 87 um so do please drop me a line if you'd uh, like to come and i hope to see you there but that's kind of it for me tonight i know it was a bit of a long one as i said it would be um so i hope you've enjoyed it and if you i'd love to hear your comments if this has uh, helped you in any way if you've been able to sort of really connect with that energy of uh, how you see 2018 unfolding for you please do let me know but that's it for me now and i will see you next time but have a lovely evening bye